you want to be the next Elio Castroneves? What do you do? Will you come here to Columbia, Maryland for the first ever Maryland Varsity Karting Championship? Now let me Damn ask yeah. you, do you think you could have made that shot? Yeah, I could have made that shot. All right, let's see. Yeah. Three men on him, Pierce on the elbow. Three, two, throw it away. What? Ah! Through social media, Facebook, Twitter, all these people moved up to Meridian Hill Park, and now you see snowballs flying all over the place. This is one of the most physically exhausting things I've ever done, but even when there was a chance to touch the puck or maybe score, I'd want to hold my breath just that much longer. Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm Brody Logan. Tonight, Mellow Trimble puts on a show. Some high schoolers showed their speed on the track, and Virginia is on track for an undefeated season. Well, the skins are going down the line, checking off their off-season shopping list. Let's see here. Uh, new general manager, check. New offensive line coach, check. New defensive coordinator, oh, still looking. When was the last time Americans got to come together and root for a champion? Not just fans of a certain team or a city, but all of us. I mean, look how much fun these people are having. We all have those shots growing up that we reenacted in the driveway, be it Christian Leitner's turnaround or Michael Jordan's hanging game winner over Craig Elo. Well, in driveways around the DMV, they're going to be reenacting Paul Pierce's game winner for years to come. So I wanted to see if Wizards fans here at the Verizon Center could make Paul Pierce's game winner. He didn't call bank, he called game. He called game. Pierce, fall away at the horn, it's gone! Five seconds left, four seconds, three, two, fall it away! Oh! 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 Do push-ups, do push-ups. Yeah. Three men on him, Pierce on the elbow, three, two, fall it away, what? Oh! Could you have hit that shot? Oh yeah, of course. Oh. Let's see it, let's see it. All right, Paul Pierce on the elbow, three, two, Whoa! Oh! Oh! We go! We got a championship! We're we going, going, baby! We're going. We're going, baby! So, is underwater hockey a sport? I'd say yes. That is incredible. Well, I had I never heard, never of heard of that. It's, it's ridiculous. You know, they should take more sports underwater. <laughs> underwater ridiculous. baseball, underwater right. football. But I'm with you. I don't know if we get to vote or not. I say it's a sport. I mean, if you're expending that amount of energy, that, it's organized. Yeah, you absolutely. Gotta, that's hard. You have to score a goal. I'd say it's a sport too, but we want to know what you, the viewer, think. Tweet at me at Brody Logan. Let us know if you think it's a sport. And what do you think of it? I mean, it's a bit crazy, but they hold their breath for so long. There are a lot of assumptions that come to mind when people think of skateboarders. There's the thing, the notion that skateboarders are mean. They're known for destroying stuff. They're just not nice people. Cussing, drugs. To be honest, I don't disagree with that. I think a lot of skateboarders are, have got a bad attitude. And that's what that's what me and Zach are at least trying to change in some people's mind. Make chickens in five minutes. Zach Lindsay has changed minds by starting his own clothing company called Lefties 29 when he was just 12 years old and through his ministry. This is feeding the homies because I like to believe that all these guys that we're feeding out here are our friends and our homies. Every Monday, Zach and his friends buy chicken sandwiches from McDonald's. Can I get 25 McChickens, please? And distribute them to people living in parks around D.C. I just decided that I want to start doing this every week, and so me and my friend Eric decided we're going to do McChicken Mondays and just skate around, hand out McChickens. At first, it was kind of, you know, hand them a McChicken, hi, bye, you know. But then I decided I want to make it more relational. And then Johnny started coming, and we got eight or nine kids coming almost every week. For Zach and the Feed the Homies crew, McChicken Mondays isn't just about handing out some chicken sandwiches. It's a chance to sit and talk with the people they meet and actually make some new friends. Here you go, man. Like every time we roll on through here, there's Ramos over there. He's always just sitting there waiting for his McChicken. I go, hola, Ramos. He's like, hey. He doesn't, he doesn't talk much, but I consider him a friend. Then we have Joseph sitting over there. We got Steven over there too, so definitely made some friends. Hey, hey, Joseph, you wanna, you wanna get on an interview, man? What do you want me to say? What do you want him to say? This is Joseph. He was born in New England, right? Here, go ahead and take a seat, man. If anyone questions if a few ago. chicken sandwiches and can make a difference, just ask Joseph. You get down so low and I don't wanna take another step, God sent somebody back by to look to him. That's what I think about it. Thanks, man. That's that sweet. You're making me blush. Zach is graduating from high school in May and plans to take Feed the Homies International, opening up a ministry in Ecuador. But for now, he 
He just likes the chance to give out some sandwiches and talk to his friends. I would say talking to him is more important than this stuff. I've never seen anyone just sitting down having a casual conversation. That's what I like to do, you know, just give him something to do, someone to talk to. Just be a homie to the homeless. In D.C., Brody Logan, How's it going, man? Fox 5 Sports. This fight was originally supposed to be a DuPont circle, but through social media, Facebook, Twitter, all these people moved up to Meridian Hill Park, and now you see snowballs flying all over the place. I'm taking fire, man. Get off me. Oh, ready your fall. It never retreats. People in the north are crazy. My parents are horrified that I'm here. <laughs> right now, I'm providing artillery support from far. Artillery! Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Later on, I'll probably run in the forward, do a little bit of kamikaze, do a little drama. He was my friend! And hopefully, the north side will win this war. Here. Oh, that was a good one.